at some point in a problem of control, with control charts, you have all of the parts and pieces together for creating a picture. And so, you know, what I need, what I need is something that looks like this, where I have an upper control limit, a control limit or center line, and a lower control limit. And then these dots on the blue line are the individual sample means. So I need to figure out, okay, well, how am I going to draw this? And Excel, Excel is a little bit tedious when you're drawing things in Excel, but that's okay, right? Here's what I need from here. I need ordered pairs that represent the uh, blue dots in my picture. Those I already have. They're column B and column those are my blue dots. I, I can I could go ahead and draw that small part of the picture. Let me show you. You would get the charts. And, and there it is. I mean, these are the lines of variation uh, across each sample. All right, well, you know, what I need to do now is insert my center line. Well, the center line is constructed from just this X double bar. In other words, it's kind of the target where we're going to vary around. So let's put in that target that we're going to vary around. Okay. Now, now I have a single ordered pair for my control limits. It's the ordered pair sample number one, in, uh, center line 13.1. Right, I could just say, well, that's what it's going to be. Sample number two, center line 13.1. And so I am really am constructing ordered pairs. I'm constructing the ordered pairs from the sample number and this center and this center line. Let me try that again. Center line. If I were to draw this, it would just be a horizontal line. And each dot in that picture represents a sample number and the center line. Upper control limit, these constants, we can also put in the exact same way. So I need to construct ordered pairs again. This time it's between these the sample, the sample number and its upper control limit. Or you know, sample number, upper control limit. And since for every sample number this upper control limit is the same, then well there's all I need to do is get this expression in here correctly once and then just copy it down. And so now again I have a horizontal line and that horizontal line represents the upper control limit. And I could take a look at it if I were so inclined. Every dot is an ordered pair where the first number in the order is the sample number and the second number in the order is the upper control limit. Okay, Lower control limit very very similar. It's constant across all samples. So I should be able to get that lower control limit, which will be a horizontal line at 12.371. And we can look at it. And again, each dot in here represents a point, uh, or an ordered pair, excuse me, an ordered pair of the sample number and the lower control limit. And so I have 10 dots. And they are, they are all uh, changing sample numbers, constant lower control limit. Okay. Well, now I have all the information I need to put all the pieces together. I need a sample number and the means. That's going to look. At, that's going to see. I'm going to see my variation with that. And then I need these control limits. So let me insert them. Insertion, uh, insert, charts. So there is my chart, my control limit chart. Now that's actually not too bad for a picture. Uh, although, you know, there's a lot of those dots I would want in there. I might want some of these objects to be the same color. And so, you know, from here on out, it's just making it more aesthetically pleasing. So what I did is I 
left clicked on a dot it's going to bring up some formatting options you know I want to change the color you know maybe I want the color to just to be black and I want the marker I don't want a marker I'm gonna get rid of them and then I want my gold line I want it to look the same so I, I clicked on the gold line with the left mouse button then I right clicked format data series color I want it to be black as well and the markers I don't want any fill in the markers I don't even want any markers all right now I want this center line to look a little different I want the center line I want to get rid of the markers so I'm going to do that first then I'm going to go after the line you know maybe I let the line be red and instead of solid, I'm going to make it a long dash. Okay. All right, so there's my there's my picture in its finished format, and not that difficult to to construct. Uh, so hopefully this video allows you to get to the construction, since I have created an assignment where you'll go in and construct these charts as well. All right, hopefully hopefully it's going well. Give me a contact if if not, so that we can work these things out.